Sure. So um, as a result of this campaign video going viral, um, you've come under scrutiny regarding your stance on LGBT plus issues. I would like to know, um, considering how you voted back in 2016 on HB2, I believe, how has okay. your viewpoint changed? And what do you plan on doing once you get into Congress regarding those issues? Thank you for that question. I want raising money to put out a commercial that is as polished as yours. And it takes a lot of money. And given the fact that you have been in the state legislation for quite some time, you have that financial backing, whereas your Democratic uh, opponent may not have had it. So how do you reconcile that uh, given the fact that your opponent is more grassroots than you and the fact that you have to be called out before you apologize for that uh, vote. Well, you know, one of the things I, I'm, I'm proud to talk about is my experience. I'm an experience. We're going to really do more dissecting and deconstructing the bullshit we see on Roland Martin because there's so much effery that goes on there politically. <laughs> they just did the jobs number report, had a black economist come on. Everybody knows that the job numbers are trash, right? They, they were horrible. Like, I just read on my Facebook feed that you, the post office is about to hire a whole bunch of people. I didn't even think about that, but that's like a trick to get people hired is they can hire a whole bunch of people even though they don't make a profit and they always lose money. The UPS, FedEx, all of them are kicking their butts. But um, it's just weird. I didn't even think about that. Like, that's a quick way for the government to boost the numbers is going on a massive high end spree and jobs like that. But the job numbers are trash, and we always say when white people get a cold, black people get the flu. Yet the chick is in the damn thing that black economists with air quotes is making excuses, saying, "Well, it, it, it dropped, but it's good. It's still good. It dropped, but it's still good." Joe Biden was just on TV laughing about or uh, elated that a lot of people got fired because they just didn't get the sappy in New York. They got rid of in the middle of a pandemic, mind you, where there's already a nursing shortage. <laughs> Our new governor, Governor Cuomo's replacement, she fired like 72,000 nurses. I'm sure a lot of them in New York City, the most black city in America, major city. Um, I'm sure a lot of those nurses were black that were fired and can't get unemployment, which I'm sure that aided to the unemployment numbers for black women. Like 300,000 black or women in general have been moved out of the workforce. A whole bunch of different things, probably COVID. A lot of people don't want to stab me. It's not affordable for them to work and you know whatnot and child care and all that stuff it makes sense for somebody to stay home generally that's going to be the woman a whole bunch of reasons but they're trying to blame it on covid and a whole bunch of shit but anyways that's not even a point it's just so much fuckery that you can unpack on roland's page is just dumb right but anyway so this indian dude is talking about he had a crazy rollout about how his tribe fought the kkk and helped some black folks in the situation i never even heard of the damn um, this battle, but I guess it was like a battle where his tribe at some pond, like they were about to have like one of their meetings and stuff, and his tribe surrounded them deep with guns and stuff. And you know, the sec there goes that Second Amendment that I'm sure he's not going to vote in favor for that helped his family tribe lineage defeat those KKK members and get him out. They end up having fist fights because they didn't want to shoot each other, but I guess the one dude shot the light out and all, and then they start giving him the hand fist of cuffs. But what was interesting in this segment is, you know, Roland does his little spiel, and then he let him talk. And then the dude acts, um, like the panel, it goes to the panel, and the panel asks him questions. Okay, there's the black dude, right? He's a nigga crap, right? He's got, he got, he's a picture of Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali. Malcolm X was not a fan of the Roland Martin's bourgeoisie, talented Tiff Negro class. He was very critical of them, yet it's weird that so many nigger crats have him posted up when he was critical of the people. Now, he is, I'm not going to say he's all that. He's still a nigga crap, but he's not probably with the talented Tiffany Rose. But I'm just saying, they all dick eat rolling and do these weird commercials inside of their own segments about how great it is to be on this YouTube show and as a black man, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, he actually asks questions about how do you feel about things that actually affect black people by and large. How do you feel about the George Floyd Act? How do you feel about HR 40 to study reparations? Would you need to study that shit? Whatever. But he asks questions that actually benefit the black community, black men and black women specifically. <sighs> the two black women got to ask questions. Both of them. Both of the black women ask questions. And guess what they asked about? Both of the black women. The fat chick brought up um, LBGT. 
this chick, the fat girl right here, Kelly. Her first question to this Indian dude is trying to get it on account and already said I'm about to defeat the white supremacists and about to go after the far right extremists and all that. Her first question was, well, you voted against them going into bathrooms that they shouldn't be going into. How do you feel about that? And what may, and blah, blah, blah. That was her question. Her question was about alphabet people. Shout out to Dave Chappelle. What an amazing um, new Netflix special. <laughs> he killed the gays, the bees, the bees, the bees, all them alphabet people. But her question, this is the black woman, the political black woman. Her question for this dude running, trying to be in Congress, was, well, you voted against the bathroom bill. Now, he did the typical political thing of, uh, after that happened, I felt some type of way, blah, 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 changed my mind. I don't support it. I was hoping, he said, I don't play, I don't just co-sign that ish. But I'm still a Democrat, but I just don't co-sign that. But he didn't do that. He tap danced and flanagled and said, you know, I'm sorry, my bad. Like Obama did. Like, that whole, I've evolved. Then there's another black woman. New black woman. This, this sister, right? She piggybacks off her question and says, what do you, well, you only, basically she called this bull. She was like, yeah, you only apologize because you got pressure on you. Her question was twofold. The first question was, well, and that's because she lost her election when she tried to run somewhere in Texas. But her question false was, well, your commercial, which is, was making him go viral. He got a crazy commercial talking about his tribe and how they beat up the KKK and whatnot. And she goes, well, that type of a commercial and that rollout costs money. And your opponent doesn't have money. She was asking a stupid question. I saying, "Are you establishment? Because your opponent is grassroots." So she, why are you asking me about how? Why my opponent lost? Like why? The, or don't got money? Or you know, little dollar donations? Or that's what they, try, they try to call it that. But that ain't. I don't care. Like I'm not gonna apologize for being successful, running a good campaign, and having people donate money to me. Like, huh? Houseway. But that was her first question. But then she piggybacked off the other fat chick question, which was. You only apologized because you had the pressure after the fact. So why should we support you, blah, 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 blah. But both the black women ask questions in regards to LBGT. The black man on the panel, all of them niggercrats. I don't support any of them, agree with any of their policies, nothing like that. But at least he asked about questions that benefit or could possibly benefit black people. The George Ford Act, obviously, that's more targeted towards black men. The word targeted, pun, not no pun intended. But the black man actually cared about black people. Reparations benefit black people. Fixing the police situation where black men don't get shot or black women because they'll bring up the say her name chicks, right? So that benefits black people. HR forty benefits black people. These two black women. We're talking about trans <laughs> and going into the wrong bathroom. That was their question for this Indian dude. You can't make this shit up, man.